Hi guys, my name is Dirty Shizzle 725 or Royce, and uh, I just like to say really quickly thank you, um, Cinema 40 Toots or Justin, for allowing me to upload this to his channel. Um, and today I am uh, going to be showing you guys how to make a refraction cube in Portal 2, like just like this one. Um, and then we're going to go into Photoshop afterwards and how and do the lasers and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, let's begin. You're going to load up Cinema 4D. And I have my HDR I already put in. I will put that in the description for you if you want. Or you can use any one you have or want. And so to start off, we're going to use a cube. And, you know, you go to this tab if you don't know and find the cube shape. And once you have your cube, you're, we're going to be using the, the, I don't know how to pronounce it, the bool tool to cut out a lot of the cube. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a cylinder and press R or rotate it 90 degrees or not 90, oops, why isn't it rotating? 90 degrees, there we go so it's laying flat like this and actually you know, I want to move everything up 100 just so it's laying straight on the plane so I don't have to do it later excuse me <laughs> okay so now we moved it up 100 and now we're gonna take the cylinder and make it a nice size um, I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to make it about 160. And, uh, yeah, and then the length doesn't really matter. It could be any length. As long as it's not smaller than the box. It just has to be a little bit larger than the box. Now you're going to want to, um, hit, you're going to want to, not hit C, sorry. You're going to make the rotation segments as large as your computer can handle. So I'm going to put it about 150. It can handle more, I just don't want to do more. Um, and then you're going to want to hit C on your keyboard to make it editable. And then you're going to want to drag one down, like press control and bring one down. And then you're going to want to rotate that 90 degrees horizontally. So then you have two of them there. And you want to bring this last one and pretty much just reset it back to normal position. It's starting position. And uh, there we go. Then we have this weird looking cube. And you want to know how is this going to turn into a refraction cube? Well, wait, there's more. First, what you're going to do, actually, with the cube, I forgot, is you want to go to the cube and go to fillet. And you're going to want to put the subdivision down to 1 and the radius down to about 16. Even 13, I think. Yeah, 13 is a nicer one. You want to put it down to about 13. And now it actually makes me want to fix these for a second. If their sizing is not right like I have right now, you're actually go you're going to want to just highlight all of them and then go to the resize tool and then off of it you can just resize it by just dragging forward and back until you get a nice size you want the sizing really isn't that big of an issue and once you have the size you like then you want to highlight all of them and press connect and delete which makes this all one single object now what you're going to want to do is go to the bool tool and bring that in and pretty much what the bool tool does is you put the top one is the object you're going to have and the, the bottom one is what's ever going to be cut out of it so as you can see now we have holes and these things will this, the in middle will go away in a minute after we um, do a little bit to it so we have all these bad looking lines and everything we don't want that for later so on the bool tool you're going to want to go to hide new edges and create a fong or however you pronounce that breaks on intersection and it'll get rid of all those ugly things and make a more smoother selection. Then you're going to click on the bool tool and hit C. This will turn it into a null object and make your cube editable and it will make it a final. What you do is you just want to pull your cube out and and delete the uh, bool tool with the old thing and now you have a box of holes in it. Now you're going to want to do that again but with with uh, rectangles. So you make another cube, move it up 100 so it's sitting right inside that cube and then you're going to want to um, hit these orange tabs to resize it till once again it's bigger than the box no, no, not height and then you're just going to want to uh, excuse me sorry I say breakfast so well gassy uh, you want to resize it so you can get about so you can uh, have you know look good <laughs> I can't think of the word at the moment and then you're just going to want to uh, um, what's it called? Control, uh, control to bring it down. That's how I. Uh, that's how you duplicate items. 
and you're going to want to rotate this 90 degrees on the B and then you're going to make another one and you're going to want to um, rotate this 90 on the H uh, on the rotation. I don't know why it's HPB but um, and then you're going to have this it cut out again and you're just going to go over them again press C to make them editable and then go down to connect and delete so now it's one object again and then you're going to go to the bool tool and do the exact same thing as last time with the exact same settings so the hide new edges and create fong now you can see it's all cut out and everything and it looks cool and then you're just going to hit C on your keyboard again to make a, it a null object pull out the cube and now you have your basic outer cube <coughs> just using this for a reference okay now you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to make another cube underneath that and this is going to be your inner layer so we can name this one outer not there's a u not a y outer and inner and so on this inner one we're going to want to do a fillet again or fillet yeah it's fillet not fillet i don't know how to pronounce that I'm bad at pronouncing things. And you're just going to want to uh, find where it sits pretty. You want to have some pretty small edges. So I'm going to say about five. But now it's too big. So what you want to do is you're going to take the resize tool again. And you're just going to size it till it fits inside. And yeah, it looks good there. So yeah, until it, uh, there we go. Now <clears throat> I'm gonna. Now we're going to go back to the outer. We're going to go click on uh, the, the Use Polygon tool for the sides. We're going to hit Control A, which will select all of them. You're going to right click and go down to Extrude. And you're going to want to extrude <coughs> the basic settings that are all here. It, just keep them for, you know, I believe they're the same for both R12 and R11.5. And if I didn't say that earlier, I am using 11.5 for this, as you can tell by the color of the cube. Excuse me. I'm really gassy today. Um, and so you can see there's gaps there. So you're just going to go back to the inner and just change it until you it just goes away there. So now you can see it looks nice. Um, one cool thing, if you press Control or Shift V and go to Shading and Grand Shading Lines, it uses a little bit more memory on this. And it might, if you have a lot of objects, it might leg it up, but you can see your edge is much easier. So now that we have this thing, it's starting to look like actually a companion cube, and um, I'm working on how to make one of those. Uh, so next you're going to want to do is create another cylinder. So you're pretty much just using cylinders and cubes on this entire thing, and move it all up 100. And what? Oh, sorry. You have to go back onto the uh, Use Model tool if when you want to go back to edit and stuff and positions. And you're going to want to do the exact same thing you do with the first one make it go 90 on the B and then make it go out but this time you're pretty you're going to uh, you're going to make it a little bit smaller till about there or so that's and that's going to be cut out and uh, just put oh so you can make you can now can make this an editable object because it's good um, and uh, bring the cylinder down again and just repeat the same process you did for the first one with the cylinders and I probably could have kept my old cylinders but I just uh, you know oh no I couldn't have never mind disregard that and then find out you know so now you have this and it's starting to look like a companion cube and you're gonna want to once again highlight the three select and then group and delete and bring your bool tool in and you want to put the inner inside the bool and then the cylinders underneath that you always want to put whatever you want to keep on top. Remember that, because you could run into some problems. And it's always going to be the same default settings, high new edges, and fong. And then you um, just hit C on the keyboard, and you have your inner, or you have your inner cutout. Now, as you can see on the uh, cube, there's these sections where it's all cut out like that. And the reason we did a fillet cap, it makes it much easier to cut it out. So you want to go back to your uh, side selector, and uh, just click on, use any one really, you just need to highlight every single edge on each side and uh, this can take a while but you just be patient with it um, well while I'm doing this you know you can maybe go down and give it a like if you liked it or a dislike if you don't like me and you know make me cry, uh, no I'm kidding I don't cry um, 
So we're almost done. One more side. And now that we have all these, you just want to hit delete on your keyboard. And that will get rid of all the, the places where the fillet cap would be. And so you see now we have those edges. Now, you go, now we want to, uh, so now we want, there's these um, edges on the side. And so, once again, we're going to get a rectangle. Ooh, surprise, surprise there. And uh, move this back to model edit and go to 100. So just everything on your Y axis should be 100. And you're just going to want to make this about the same size. It doesn't have to really be. It's not that big of a deal. If it is for you, then that's cool. But for me, it's not really that big of a deal. And then uh, once again, you're just going to want to take this and make three of them and just position them so it's hidden all six sides of the cube. And then this one, oh no, control Z, excuse me. Uh, so now, yep, there we go, we got all these, we got the cross there now. And that's looking pretty cool. And then make editable and, you know, connect and delete. And it's that same stuff again. And the same thing with the Boolean tool. So this is starting to get, you know, it's a little repetitive, but it gets you a really nice, really nice shape. And uh, inner, yep, pull the inner out. Now that we have this inner object thing, what we can do is we can now go back to the the model, uh, Control A it, so you select all the sides and go to extrude again. This time we're going to go negative extrude. I'm going to go to a negative extrude by two. Never mind. Don't. Oh, oh yeah. yeah sorry. You're going to do, and you're going to create caps for this. So what it'll do is um, it'll extrude inward, so we can keep this exact same size for the outer layer, and it's just going to extrude. And then you press create cla caps, so it'll uh, it won't look bad. And if we you know highlight it now, it's looking pretty cool.